So what are the ins and outs of the Exodus wallet? Well, let's find out. Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on and watching this video. So today we're going to do a review of the Exodus wallet, the ins and outs, see how to actually use it, how to exchange your crypto within the wallet and things of that nature. Also, I'm going to pick a winner for this week's Bitcoin Fridays. So stay tuned for that. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell. And if you like this kind of content, hammer those likes. Now let's get into it. All right, so Exodus, it's a software type wallet to download to your computer. It's a multi-coin wallet, which is something I really like. I do a lot of speculative coin mining and you have to download all kinds of different various wallets. With the Exodus wallets, it's got over 100 coins. Now, of course, it doesn't have all these speculative coins I mine, but it does have some here and there. It just makes it more convenient. Instead of having 100 different wallets on your computer, you just have one wallet, which is a multi-coin wallet. Very convenient, having all your crypto in one spot. Now, with that being said, you don't want to have everything in one full wallet. You want to have it here and there, different software type wallets. You want to have a hardware wallet. I have various wallets. I don't keep all my crypto in one spot. At least that's just my opinion. You guys can do what you want. But it's like the old saying, you never keep all your eggs in one basket. So I don't keep all my crypto in one wallet. One other big positive about having your own wallet, software type wallet or hardware wallet, you hold your keys to the crypto. You hold your private keys, unlike an online type of wallet. I just went over the Coinbase wallet. If you guys want to check that video out, it should be popping up here in a second. But that's a big one. Holding the private keys to your wallet means you own the crypto. You hold the access to your own crypto instead of having it on some type of an exchange or an online wallet where you don't hold the private keys. Real quick, are you guys using the Exodus wallet? Type a yes if you are below, no if you're not. If you're not using it, let me know what kind of multi-coin wallet you guys are using out there. Always interested in your guys' feedback. All right, so let's jump into the actual Exodus wallet and I'll show you guys what it's all about. All right, so here we are on their website. This link will be down below if you guys want to go ahead and give Exodus a try. So homepage, all you can do is click download, download it to your computer. It'll walk you through how to set it up. It's really easy. You're going to have to copy some of the 12 seed words and keep those in a safe spot. I actually printed mine out and put it in a safe so it's not on my computer. It's away, completely away from my computer which is probably a good idea. So anyways, it's an easy setup process. Once you get through that, just pull up the actual Exodus wallet. Should have a link on your desktop. And this is what it'll look like. This is one of my wallets. I've got an Exodus wallet, a Zelle Core wallet, hardware wallet. I don't keep, like I said, I don't keep all my crypto in one spot. Just have a little bit of it on here. So once you log in, this is what the actual wallet will look like. Basically your home page on your software Exodus wallet. And that's the portfolio tab, which is right here. Just shows you all the actual assets you have in a wallet. Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum Classic, Tron, etc. Litecoin. Now, if you want to add actual more assets, just click on a wallet right here and you can scroll down right here and just click add more. And here are all the assets that are available. Like I said, there's probably over a hundred of these actual different assets. If you don't want to scroll all the way down, you can just go back into the, up to the top and type and say you wanted to say you wanted to put Dogecoin, just D-O-G, there's Dogecoin right there. You would just click on it and boom, it would be added to your actual portfolio page. So let's head back over to Wallet. So let's say we wanted to add some Ethereum real simply. Just click on the actual Ethereum, click on Receive. And then it would give you your actual address right there. And you would just click copy, copy to clipboard. Really simple to deposit your crypto into this wallet. And it puts it on a nice little interface right here, giving you the total value of this wallet. All right, let's go down to the settings tab right here. This is where you can, again, you can enable or disable type assets, localization, you pick what country you're in. Themes, you can choose different themes of the actual wallet you want colors, textures, 
and skins, which is the actual background. You can choose whatever you want. Totally up to you, whatever your actual preferences are. Click on security. Wallet auto lock, I've got mine set up for 30 minutes. So if I actually walk away from the computer and the wallet's up, it'll automatically lock out after 30 minutes. You can set that to never, one hour, two hours, or 30 minutes. It's totally up to you. And hardware wallets. You can actually set this up to work with your Trezor wallet. I haven't done that yet, but maybe I'll do that in a future video, show you guys how to set that up, but that's another neat feature. All right, so backups, this is important. You can email yourself a backup, pair it with an actual mobile device. There's an app you can download for Exodus as well. This is pretty neat. And here's your 12 word recovery phrase. You can download that and print it out, which that's what I have done. Like I said, I put it in my actual safe, which is definitely recommended. You want to download that in case you actually lose access to your computer, somebody steals it, whatever. You need to have that phrase there so you can actually pull this software up on a new computer when you do get one and then enter your phrase and you should be good to go along with your private keys. All right, and one last thing, exchange. Say I wanted to transfer Bitcoin into Ethereum. You can do this right here on within the wallet, which is neat. You just enter the amount of Bitcoin you want and it will show over here the actual amount of Ethereum you would get. So maybe $10. Of course, there's a minimum of BTC you would have to do. Some of these you actually have to have a minimum, but that's basically how you would do it. So once it does that, you would just click exchange when you had enough. So let's put a hundred in there. So boom, you just click exchange and I would get a hundred dollars worth of Ethereum. And it really is as easy as that. You can do this with multiple different assets in the wallet. Say you wanted to do it with some Stellar, transfer that over to, I don't know, maybe some Bitcoin. You can do that in here. Again, there will, so like I said, there's going to be a minimum. I probably do not have enough Stellar in here, but that's neither here nor there. It's just, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to actually exchange your crypto within the wallet. Another nice feature of the Exodus wallet. So that's really all there is to it. You can click on transaction as well, and it'll show you all your various different transactions that you've done in the past, as far as what has come and gone out of the wallet. All of these here lately are for Bitcoin Fridays, as far as the cent BTC. And speaking of Bitcoin Fridays, let's go ahead and pick a winner. So here we are on thecryptofish.com. Real quick while you're here, be sure to enter your email address right here. Click subscribe. YouTube doesn't always send out notifications. So every Wednesday I send out a reminder email that the Enter to Win video for Bitcoin Fridays has come out. Just in case you didn't get notified by YouTube. Also, I post my latest videos here. Cryptocurrency Mining 2019. And I still got a couple I need to get on here. Three or four of them. But for the most part, they're all up here. It's also a good idea to bookmark this page as well so that you won't miss any future updates. All right, let's go ahead and hop into the back office. Here we are on Bitcoin Fridays, 11 29, 2019. 57 contestants this week, 2,251 total entries. Let's go ahead and click on Manage Giveaway. All right, so the contest has obviously ended. All I have to do is click this little draw button and it will pick a winner. Don't worry if you don't win, just make sure you are subscribed. You click that notification bell and you also subscribe to the email list. All right, guys, good luck this week. Let's pick a winner. All right, so we have John. Congratulations, John, on winning this week. Let me go ahead and confirm John. John has been confirmed. Let me go ahead and notify John. All right, so John has been notified. John, when you do get that email, be sure to respond back with your Bitcoin wallet address and I will send your winnings right on over. Again, congratulations for being this week's Bitcoin Fridays winner. If you guys are interested in my review of the Coinbase wallet, be sure to check out that video. It should be popping up here in a second. Any questions or comments, put them down below. I always respond to every one of them or at least try to. Again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you like this kind of content, hammer those likes. All right, I want to thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.